in this video, I'm going to show you how easily you can install and run a Zephyr 7 billion beta locally on your laptop in Windows operating system. Before we go there, let me give you a quick overview of what this Zephyr 7 billion beta model is. Zephyr model is a Mistral fine tune that achieves results similar to Chat Llama 70 billion in multiple benchmarks. And also, the results in various benchmarks show that probably Zephyr Beta is the best 7 billion model out there at the moment. On MT Bench, for example, Zephyr Beta scored 7.34 compared to 6.86 for Llama 2 Chat 70 billion. Also, on the benchmark Alpaca Evolve, Zephyr achieved a 90.6% win rate versus 92.7% for Llama 2 Chat 70 billion. Just as with the alpha re release of this Zephyr 7 billion, and I have a separate video on that. What is really fascinating about this new model is that not just the matrix which I just discussed, but how it was trained. This new model has been fine-tuned from the best small open source pre-model data out there, which is Mistral 7B. Also, this has used large-scale preference data set ultra feedback. Also, it has done overfitting on the preference data set, and surprisingly, that has yielded better chat results. There were three training stages for Zephyr beta 7 billion. First, there was distilled supervised fine tuning or DSFT. So what happens in this first stage of DSFT is that you build a large scale self-instruct style data set, which is ultra chat, and then do distilled SFT or supervised fine tuning. Then we have AI feedback or AIF collection. In this, Four different LLMs generate completions and then GPT-4 is used to rank the responses, ultra feedback. And then in the third stage of this training of this Zephyr beta 7 million, what happens is that they have done DPO or direct preference optimization of the DSFTP model from step one using the feedback data. DPO is an alternative to PPO that removes the need for a reward model. Zephyr Beta trains for more DPO epochs than Zephyr Alpha, so the results of chat are better. Also, um, there are some very fascinating observations about this model. Um, for instance, the feedback received for Zephyr Alpha was that there was incorrect casing, but that has been fixed in this beta version. So this is a quick overview. I will drop the link to this abstract in the video description. You can read through it or if you want to read the whole paper behind it, you can download it from the right hand side. But for this, I'm just going to show you now how to install it easily in your Windows laptop. If you have GPU, then great. If not, even a good CPU should work, but you should have around 16 GPU of RAM. Okay. So now let's get started. The tool which I'm going to use for this demo is called as LM Studio. If you are not aware what LM Studio is, then I have another video where I show how to install it and start using it, and I'll drop the link in video description. Okay, so I already have installed this LM Studio on my system. First step we need to do is to click on the top home button at the right hand uh, left hand side, then type Zephyr, and then for this. I'm going to use Zephyr 7 billion beta in GGUF format from Block. And Block, as you know, already does a lot of good stuff. Uh, this is the Block Hugging Face page, and this is the actual models page on Hugging Face. But I'm going to use this Block Zephyr beta because it will be quicker to do so. Let me drag this up it down. Now, if you see on the right hand side, there are different quantization files for it. I always try to go with Q5KS because that gives us a good balance of quality and size. And the size is around five gig. So simply click on this download button. And then you can see on the bottom half, it has started downloading it. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further. And the download speed obviously depends upon your internet connection. 
let's wait. If this is almost done, just it is at 99%. Should be done any second now. Let's wait for it to complete. Okay, so you can see that it has finished downloading and also it shows green with a tick on the right hand side. Okay, that is cool. Now, in order to check the file on the left hand side, click on this folder button and you can see that now we have this save file which has been downloaded to our local system. In order to use it, click on these three dots here and then just dismiss it. And then from the middle uh, section of this, select a model to load, select your model and it will load it into our local system. Let's wait for it to finish. You don't take too long. That's done. And on the top left, you can see the CPU usage and RAM usage for this model. And if you want to stop using it, you can simply eject it. Okay, now let's play with this model a bit to see its performance. So in this chat uh, or in the text box, just type any question like I'm asking it, what is the capital of Australia? So let's see what it does. It is processing it and I'm letting the video run so that you would be able to see the performance. So you can see the performance is quite nice and it has given us the capital of Australia, Canberra. And then it is giving us further information. And I vividly remember when I asked this from alpha version of it, it just gave me the answer Canberra. Now let's ask it a coding question, write a Python program to reverse a list. Let's see what it does with the coding question here. That is quite nice. It is uh, coming back quite nicely. And it is generating a list first. And then reverse list. Okay, that's pretty cool. Minus one, yeah. And then it is giving us the command two, which is a missing with a step minus one. Good stuff. And then now it is given giving us a commentary on the code which it has just produced. Very nice. Okay, I'll stop generating it. And now let's ask it a bit more analytical question. So if you look at this question, I'm asking it in one year yellow paint fades and becomes a white color in my house in one room one wall is yellow and the rest of the walls are white should i paint that yellow wall as white now or wait for one year so that it fades into white so let's wait for it to analyze it and give us the answer so now it has started producing the answer should be fun It is just repeating what I uh, gave him the above, but it is also adding its own reasons and uh, analysis. Okay, that is good. Very nice. So you can see that this model is not only quick, but the responses are also fairly spot on. And uh, I'm quite impressed by this beta version. So let's see what would be the final Zephyr version look like. But I think I agree with the observation that this Zephyr beta 7 billion is one of the best or maybe the top 7 billion model out there at the moment. Please share your thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree with that or not? And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.